Hi there, and welcome back to our latest update for Peter Max is um, search for the Holy Grail in terms of what he's doing with his swing. So he's looking for a, um, what he calls a, a pretty swing almost, or a swing that works, but also looks good at the same time. So really, this is our first session back after Christmas, um, our second update for what he's been doing. So but before swing on the left, and he just dropped a little bit back into his hands being quite quite low here for Peter. And what he'd tend to do would be, for him, just turn a little bit in the wrong order with his body. And this causes the club to get two side out of his hands, outside his hands at this point. And then going up through the rest of the swing, this would make the club lay off for the shaft getting this sort of position. So the new one, we just alter his arm position a bit, turns a little bit higher with his hands and all tucked here. Then this really helped him change the direction of the club at the on the first move, so it's now more in line with his hands, which is what we're looking for. And this allows the club to go up and the shaft to stay more, more this way. So in the old one on the left, when this happens with the shaft, he's got to try and, because the shaft's quite flat, it's got to try and get back to, or have more vertical in it on the way down. So it gets too steep here, so it starts coming down too steep and outside his left arm, which is going to give him slice, cuts, pulls, or just generally the, encourage the face to be open as, as you're hitting. Um, so in the new one, with the club more like this on the way back, when the club comes down, it automatically drops more this way, more in line with his hands again, whereas the one on the left again is going to work. We can see here the face is still wide open at this point. So he's always going to have to work quite hard to square the face up. So here he's coming in a bit open, and then he's working hard through the bottom, having to try and turn the face over a lot to keep the ball going straight. Whereas in the new one now on the on the right is that the club can work round here, work round to impact and actually starts to square itself a bit. So it makes the job much easier for Peter on the way through. So that change in posture and then the concept of moving the club first again really made a big difference when we're looking from the back. Okay, so looking at Peter's front, and before on the left again, after on the right. So really when Peter moved it, because of how he was starting, he was starting to move the move his club and the body a little bit in the wrong direction. So everything moves too much this way early on with his stripes and everything goes into the back legs. This is causing his body and his spine to, to tilt or lean towards the target too early. In his new one, on the first move, we started to get him to go in a slightly different direction. So a little bit more this way. And his shoulders are starting to work more around with his spine, his, his body shape. It remains a better hitting position really as he swings. So whereas in this one on the left, the body kind of tips this way a bit. This makes the club drop a bit narrow um, at the top and a bit too hinged. And he's not really got the hitting angle or hitting shape into his body. So on the one on the right, after we've done a bit of work, then obviously the gap gets a bit bigger here and he starts to get some of this hitting shape in his body, which, which is going to encourage a more effective or easier return for Peter, which is really what he's looking for, and it, you know, and it kind of looks better at the same time. So in the old one, he's always working hard, coming in a bit sort of vertical again with everything. He gets this lifting motion, he doesn't like That's all because of how he's gone back. So in the new one, as he comes in, he doesn't get as much lifting because the direction the club can return back from. It impacts better, and then he can work through into a better position here. So the latest update for Peter, so he's still working on it, still uh, making good progress, so that's really important. Um, hope you're enjoying the updates, really appreciate um, any comments, feedback, anything like that. I'll encourage um, us to do more videos and keep updating and, and keep, the, um, keep the article going in the Horsham pages. If you get get a chance, perhaps take a look at the article in the Horsham pages, we'll be able to keep up with it on, uh, on Facebook or Twitter, so Mark Haynes Golf, Twitter, Facebook or web, and um, take a look and um, let me know what you think, that'll be great. Um, hope look forward to updating you next time.